Hello everyone, I'm O'Curry. Welcome back to the second half of the Q&A where I finally get around to answering your questions. It definitely hasn't been almost a month since I posted the Q&A video. A lot of stuff happened. I basically put it off. I basically recorded it. I've already recorded this once, but I wasn't generally happy with the original take. So I'm re-recording it now, but let's get into it with the first question. Hello. I initially found your channel due to a video regarding the game Steep. I read the whole description of said video and felt inspired. I was wondering if you would be doing more videos on the game. Probably. At some point I want to do some scripted content. I want to be able to do that kind of stuff. And one idea that I've had roaming around is just talking about good open world environment where some games don't necessarily need to have I want to, I want to make a video talking about open world games and I want to go from like what a good very dense open world is like and then how games can also be very um, empty and still feel really open and really fun to explore steep would be one of the best examples for the, uh, the latter next question who would your dream collaboration be with, and who are your favorite people you've collaborated with? I would like to collaborate with a lot of people, but if I had to go with someone who is still alive, because a lot of the people that I would have loved to collaborate with are no longer with us, I'd have to say this YouTuber named Brutal Moose. I don't know why, I would just love to do something with him. Um, he's very into niche games, niche content, and his food reviews are just, they're, they're fun. I'd also like to do a, a collaboration with um, another YouTuber called Pushing Up Roses or Lazy Game Reviews. I love both of them. I would love to have a conversation with both of them about like the stuff they're really into on their channels. like point-and-click adventure games and very niche technology because that stuff has always fascinated me and my favorite collaboration that I've done I haven't really done a ton I'd probably say the Oblivion playthrough me and Rhett did was a highlight those were just fun it took forever to do them but it was just a good time no matter what I also like doing the podcast with Gumshoe Gamer, as that's just a fun time. It's nice getting to like sit down and talk for an hour or two just about like stuff that's been going on in the gaming universe. You know, I feel like that's just fun. Next question What's your favorite game to play on the channel and why did I create my channel? Favorite game to play on the channel? In the past, it would have had to have been. Silent Hill 3. I still really like that playthrough. I think. I haven't watched it since I did it. But I remembered finishing and going, Damn! I don't have anything else to do now. And I was really tempted to move on to another horror game at the time. I think I did, but it just didn't work out the same way. If I'm going with currently, my favorite thing that I'm doing on the channel would have to be... It's a toss-up between Corpse Party and the Dragon's Dogma Challenge run. It's just, they're both really fun. I don't know. Orbs Party is like hitting all those notes that I want in a horror game and Dragon's Dogma is just a genuinely fun challenge run to do. And it's just a good time. And why did I create my channel? I created my channel because I wanted to make YouTube stuff and I wanted to copy um, vloggers and Philip DeFranco because I wanted to be a YouTuber. I thought it was like the coolest thing on earth and obviously that didn't work out and I started doing gaming content because of uh, a lot of content creators actually. Uh, next question. What are your most and least favorite challenge runs that you've done? My least favorite challenge run is the Fallout New Vegas BB gun only challenge run that I tried. I hated it. I was feeling like I was in a really bad slump with the channel at the time and I I just wanted views 
I was hitting this point where I just, I just, I hated seeing my channel flop. I hated seeing the views go from like, like uh, 50 in a day to luck, if I'm lucky, 10. <laughs> it was stupid, but um, I hated doing that. It was very forced. I was really glad when it ended. Um, and I moved on to better stuff. I moved on to stuff that I'm much more happy with. And my favorite challenge run, like I said before, is the Dragon's Dogma run. It's just been, it's been such a fun time doing that. Um, I need to, I need to do another episode of that. It's been a little while since I played. Um, but it's just fun because it, it was so cool going from this <laughs> under, under leveled, underpowered, uh, dude who just has to hopefully punch something to death to being able to one shot most enemies because he, he can <laughs> next question there's actually three in here what game or games will you never do a challenge run for rpgs i'll never do an rpg challenge run at least not a traditional one like a jrpg i don't think there is enough content or there's too much content depending on the game you're looking at um it just seems like it would be a lot of a lot of energy to put into something that probably wouldn't do very well uh what's your favorite video or series i answered that already it's um the silent hill 3 channel uh the silent hill 3 playthrough i did back in the day i really should re-watch that at some point but not now and last question when will you do a sonic game eventually <laughs> at some point probably the next question any games you're really excited about What's one video you wanted to do for the longest time but haven't because of reasons? Um, I'm really excited for Cyberpunk 2077. I'm also really excited for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Um, I'm excited for the Master Chief Collection coming to PC because I've got a challenge in mind for that. I'll probably be up around the same time, just a little while after this video is up because um, I'm going to work on that super quick i'm also looking forward to a few indie games i'm looking forward to a game called world of horror which i'll probably do something with here on the channel and i'm also looking forward to a game called omori i don't know a ton about omori but it's got a lot of really talented people behind it and it's been in, in progress for a long time i'm looking forward to that and what's one video you wanted to do for the longest time but haven't because reasons I, like I said earlier, I want to do something on the design of open world games. I also really want to do a video talking about fishing mini games in, in games. Not like talking about fishing games, but like games that are built solely for the purpose of fishing. I want to talk about the mini games inside of other games that is just about fishing. Because something I've noticed is that it's so weird. Some games have like, sometimes it's just a uh, quick time event. Other times it's like a whole thing. Like you have to like, with like Stardew Valley, it's like this weird bar that you have to like, it's like a matching game thing. I don't know what you'd call that. And then there are games where like, they try to go for like realism, where like you're actually like having to fight the fish as you pull it in. It's like this whole thing, you know? Like I, I think it'd be really interesting to like, Tr talk about that in some manner i'd have to figure out what exactly i want to do with that but i don't know it's a topic that i've wanted to weirdly touch on at some point next question how was your week month year and how are all the games you've played good next question the next question is i have one question how do i get more subs i don't want to sign up for the stuff on youtube to get money or do ads on my videos whatever else you have to do I thought you might be a little more. Um, I thought you might have a more better idea since you're still growing your channel. I probably know things about getting your videos out there. So, this topic is a little difficult to work out, but from my experience here on YouTube, big things that really do help are search engine optimization. Um, what that means is it's basically like you take every aspect of uploading a video, for instance, your thumbnail, your title, description, and your tags. And those are all very detailed or very straightforward, depending on what it is. 
like your title you very you want to be very straightforward and to the point your description you want to be detailed like they give you 5,000 characters for your description use it don't overdo it obviously but put in a lot of stuff that like describes your video um, putting details about the game like where you can buy it your tags are also important make sure they're very clear and describe the video in the most minimalistic detail you can um, and make sure your thumbnails are nice and clean and shows off what the video is about another thing that really does help is having a twitter presence not just making a twitter account and then just uploading your videos and whatnot what i mean by that is making a twitter account following other content creators around your size having conversations with them talking about their content all that stuff don't force yourself to watch other people's content just if you find smaller creators that you do enjoy um, talk with them in the comments on their in their tweets stuff like that really does help because it allows you to um, grow and have conversations with these people and learn ways to work your videos into and to make your videos a lot better another thing that also does really help is editing some people don't like to edit their videos you really should a big thing that i've learned is that if you have dead air you know moments where like you're just walking through a game or there's literally nothing happening or you're not talking cut it out and skip ahead a little bit it comes off a little annoying but if you watch my videos there are i basically take with my videos, I literally will take a two to three hour recording and chop it down into an hour, hour and a half, depending on how long the video needs to be and how much stuff is worth keeping in. So work on that stuff. Editing is very easy to do. Um, I just find an editing program that legal and cheap. I'll have a link in the description for the search engine optimization thing. If I can find it, it might not be there. I don't know. I'll check. If not, oh well, sorry. Go look it up yourself. It's not that hard. Next question. What's your favorite thing about doing Let's Plays? And if you pick a game to do a playthrough on that isn't out yet, what game would it be and why? My favorite thing about doing Let's Plays is that it's not required of me to do anything more than just sit down, talk, and play a game the way I want to play it. There's no limitations. I don't have to follow specific rules. I could just play the game, edit it, upload it, and be done with it. And it's kind of nice going through a game as blind as I possibly can and being able to bring people along with me on that journey. It's it's fun. I like doing Let's Plays. And the second question, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. Because I'm playing through the first one right now and I have so many hopes and dreams for the sequel that I want to see come true. But I gotta wait. I gotta play through the first game first and then wait for the second one to come out. And I'm really excited for it because I'm I'm hoping that they take a lot of the problems that the original had and work on them, but don't change them enough to where that it doesn't feel like it's even close to the same game. Next question. What's my favorite gaming series on YouTube? That would probably have to be Civil Protection by Cursed Farms. It's a machinima series about two officers who are just hanging around city 17 during their patrol and they just have the stupidest conversations and occasionally crazy shit happens and it's just a fun time i'll link in i'll link that in the description as well because it's good he also um he also did a series on it's like a weird playthrough machinima hybrid called freeman's mind that's worth watching too that's definitely not for everyone. Next question. What were you looking for when you started a YouTube career? A career? <laughs> no, I was looking for something to do. I'm not the type of person that really holds hobbies very often. I tend to just play video games in my free time. I don't do a ton of stuff. Especially when I, um, especially when I started the channel. I was living out in the middle of nowhere. So... I didn't have people to hang out with. I didn't have anywhere to go. 
getting anywhere was actually mildly inconvenient because it was just far enough from town that it would require you to drive. Like you couldn't go anywhere like on bike or anything like that. So I needed a hobby and I watched YouTube and in 2012, probably, I realized that you could record and play video games on YouTube and have fun doing it. And so I gave it a shot and it kind of just became something I really like doing. And I don't think it's something I'd ever really want to stop doing. Obviously, I would love it if um, this became my career at some point in the future, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, but I was looking for a hobby when I started my YouTube channel. And uh, that's it. There are no other questions questions i think i think i got them all pretty sure so thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers thank you so much for asking me questions and continuously supporting the channel i really appreciate it i have a question for you what's a series that i have done on my channel that you really like what was something on the channel that even if i haven't finished it that you really enjoyed watching Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate all the support. And I will see you again for another Q&A in, I don't know, 700 more subscribers. But until then, bye.